Hi, my name is Ken Davidian, and welcome to Organization Theory in Space, Season 2. In this season, every episode covers an individual chapter in the Oxford Handbook of Organizational Change and Innovation, second edition, edited by Marshall Scott Poole and Andy Vandeven. This video covers chapter seven of the handbook, entitled The Paradox Perspective and the Dialectics of Contradictions Research by Tim Hargrove. <clears throat> In this chapter, we'll start with some basic definitions of the terms, and then we'll go into a little detail about the paradox perspective. We'll dive down a little bit into the dialectic perspective, also covering the ontology of becoming and other interesting topics of discussion. Finally, we'll briefly describe the contradictions perspective. So, first of all, a paradox is a tension between contradictory yet interrelated elements, elements that seem logical in isolation, but absurd and irrational when appearing simultaneously. Dialectics, or the dialectic, was an ancient Greek method of dialogue for progressively uncovering the truth, trying to minimize the distance between reality, the truth, and our perception, knowledge, and understanding of it. Finally, a contradiction is defined as a dynamic tension between opposed interdependent elements that presuppose each other for their existence and meanings and together form a unity. In the paradox perspective literature, managers experience contradictions as paradoxes. The paradox perspective emerged in the 1980s as a problem to be solved by managers. A key tenet of the paradox perspective is that managers cannot fully resolve paradoxes, so they must accept them and productively use the tension between contradictory elements to resolve the resulting issues. A seminal paper written by Lewis on paradox theory defined them as an epistemological problem, that is, a product of discourse. Lewis defines a common organizational paradox taxonomy of learning, organizing, and belonging, and three approaches to managing them, respectively including acceptance, confrontation, and transcendence. More recently, the dynamic equilibrium process model by Smith and Lewis is considered the definitive statement of the paradox perspective, defining strategies and steps to manage them. There are two prominent dialectical perspectives that describe human world history as a process of change, rooted in contradictions, inherent in reality, and driven forward by actors in an attempt to understand and resolve the resulting differences. The two prominent dialectic philosophers are Hegel and Marx. Hegel's dialectical view describes human progress toward truth through an oppositional learning process. Marx's view of dialectical materialism describes human change driven by the contradictions inherent in the capitalist mode of production. One interesting derivative of the dialectical perspective is the ontology of becoming. Hegel viewed the dialectical process between the thesis or being and the antithesis of nothing. He considered the resulting synthesis of the two to be becoming. As time moves forward, everything in the world is increasingly in a continuous state of becoming as contradictory elements come nearer and nearer to each other. The corollary of this thinking is that unchanging entities do not exist. Furthermore, contradictory elements also change in relation to one another and in many ways, including in kind and degree, quality and quantity, relative power, and even the basic definition of the contradictory elements. Finally, Dialectics suggests that the dynamics of contradictions dominate over the stability of contradictory elements implied in paradox theory. The chapter continues to investigate dialectics much farther with some additional topics of discussion. The first of these is the question of whether contradictions are inherent or socially constructed. This questions whether contradictions are a result of discourse, as we mentioned earlier, or whether they are, in fact, part of reality. The second topic regards the transformation of contradictory elements. Third, the topic of totality describes how contradictions must be understood as part of a bigger whole, describing how contradictions at societal levels of analysis can influence and create contradictions within organizations and at other lower levels. The final topic, unintended consequences, discusses how trying to manage contradictions involves a lot of uncertainty, and can lead to self-negation. For example, an overexertion of control can result in the loss of control, or how focusing on long-term organizational viability can lead to short-term death, because short-term viability was undermined. 
Finally, the chapter addresses the contradictions perspective, which resulted in response to shortcomings of revisions proposed to the paradox perspective in response to some critical reviews. Researchers attempted to expand paradox theory, which we considered to be the thesis, by incorporating parts of the dialectic perspective, our antithesis. Unfortunately, the paradox theory extensions did not try to create a synthesized perspective that would be greater than itself or the dialectics perspective, and that's where the contradictions perspective comes in. The contradictions theory negates the static aspects of the paradox perspective and incorporates the dialectic assumption of becoming. The initial contradictions theory was an integrated model proposed by Hargrave and Van de Ven, suggesting that managers can use specific actions to manage persistent paradoxes as isolated contradictions under special conditions. The isolated contradictions part of the integrated model was a limitation addressed by a subsequent theory, the prescriptive learning spiral model that asserts organizations experience convergence and divergence cycles. In the convergence portion of the cycle, managers address contradictory elements as described in the dynamic equilibrium model. And in the divergent portion of the cycle, new discoveries and changing contradictory elements disrupt the dynamic equilibrium and managers basically try to cope. Woo! That was a lot. I hope you found it interesting as I did. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of organization theory in space. If so, I hope you'll consider subscribing to Impossible Research on YouTube and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss any of the future videos as they come out. Thanks and bye. OT in Space was produced by IRL, which stands for Impossible Research LLC. IRL conducts process research on the topics of innovation and industry emergence within the space sector context. IRL also offers services of organization theory consulting, research consulting, and STEAM outreach. This video is intended for educational purposes only.